hello guys welcome to inside electronics so today i'm going to show you guys what's inside one of these little dinky things that you can buy online or from a local retail shops for very cheap i think this thing is only around 150 or 200 rupees now what this is is it's a usb to first ethernet adapter as it mentions over here and you can see it's made on february 2014 and this thing does not work it is now broken so what it does is you can plug this thing to a usb device for example your computer if it has a broken lan port this thing is much like an external lan card for your computer so you plug this thing onto a usb device for some devices like for windows xp or some older devices it will automatically detect it as a usb lan but for others you need to install the drivers for it and basically all this all it does is it converts the lan to a usb port so if your device does not have a lan card for example if your laptop has a broken lan card or if it doesn't have a lan card at all you can use one of these and you can use a regular internet on that so let's open one of these and see what's inside being a really tiny product let's see this thing is actually the size of an 18650 battery like that see that if you can compare it it's just a little bit less like a centimeter less than 18650 so i'll say 17 maybe so i'm going to open this thing and let's see what's inside but i'll, go, I'll be pausing right now okay okay so let's open it and this particular model is made by a company called Sebronics which is no I don't know how good or how bad it is because it depends upon user opinions because I have a lot of I have used a lot of Sebronics products personally and few of them works so far really good no issues and some of them were absolute junk so it entirely depends upon personal opinion whether how bad this company is so basically Sebronix makes a lot of computer accessories they make actually they are the one that makes a lot of uh, you know off the shelf not off the shelves like what I was trying to say is yeah you know the uh, odd kind of accessories like for example the USB to LAN they even make uh, telephone to something else converter and things like that so yeah basically they make a lot of computer accessory stuff let's open it let's peel the sticker and let's pop the cap open and it seems like just clipped in using those plastic tabs right there so I'm not expecting anything much bigger inside because let's take that sticker away from there and come on get out there it is oops there it is that is what it is so LAN and USB are two separate protocols and right away you can see why this thing is no longer working see that over there it's a blown that is destroyed that is a hole that's a 3.3 volt regulator right there and there is a hole right there that is the reason why this thing is not working so i think if i can feed this thing with 3.3 volts it may still kick into action i don't know but i'm not going to use it anymore and that is a proper isolation transformer for it the LAN. so because each standard has its own requirements this thing needs an isolation transformer like that so it's a LAN transformer right there and an unknown chip the chip has no numbers on it if i can focus on that see there is absolutely no numbers on that chip at all let's take out this entire thing from its casing and see what in lies in the bottom so there is actually an Atmel 827 microcontroller right there so uh, maybe that chip being the close proximity and you can see other burn marks so that alone is not the problem you can see the burn marks on the isolation transformer right there see that so everything in this thing is blown and being the close proximity with that thing i'm guessing that has to do something with the lan protocol and this chip has to do the rest of work for it 
maybe I will put the data sheet for this particular chip right here but I'm going to pause for now okay so I finally dig out the my uh, data sheet for this thing it came out that Atmel 827 is not the number it's 93 that is the number and it came out that that particular chip is my phone is start doing some weird things right there it is actually a three wire serial EEPROM you can see there the it is a serial EEPROM, EEPROM right there so the specifications are oops I dropped my phone anyways that is some bad phone right there I'm having this, some issues with the switch so these are the features it operates at low voltage standard operation 2.7 to 5.5 volts use selectable internal organization 1k 2k 4k of uh, internal memory 3 by serial interface and that's basically what that thing is I will link this thing in the description right below so you can actually check that out if you want to so that is the pin out for this thing serial data clock and everything like that that is internal block diagram for that particular chip and yeah that is so that's actually a serial EEPROM memory right there let me turn the flash on and the unknown chip so yeah basically that's it and there's a crystal right there that's a 25 megahertz crystal over there so basically that's it that's what's inside a usb to lan converter actually it's a lan to usb it's not a usb to lan because it's not going to do the reverse well maybe it is doing the reverse because we have to transfer the data back and forth right so anyways this is the converter this is the adapter for lan to usb and i'm thinking since this this thing is completely burned is useless let's take a look at what's inside this particular puppy right there which is uh, an isolation transformer so I'm going to show you in coming videos one of my coming videos what's inside one of these puppies so wait for that and that's what's inside a Sabronix USB to LAN converter thanks for watching see you in another videos